Kurde, chciałem poleczyć ludzi i dobra, przeszedłem przez most, bo jestem tutaj. Źle poszedłem, bo chciałem pójść na doki i znowu spotykam tę postać. Ale do na rejonie, Hunter na mikrofonie, witam was w kolejnym odcinku z Vampyra. Dobrze. Porozmawiajmy zatem. You must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding and the harvest is upon us. Stay away, whoever you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to me. Silence! I dismiss you now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! Silence! Dobrze, pogadaliśmy. O kurwa! Ale w sumie dobrze, bo mogę sobie przebiec i kompletnie ich ignorować. Biegnę na doki, muszę poleczyć ludzi, kurwa, a nie mam czasu na jakieś tam zabawy. O, siema. Dobra, jednak mam czas na zabawy. Jak ja ich najebałem. Kurde. Nie mogłem nic zrobić. Trochę mi krewki brak... Mam wrażenie, że jestem za silny. Odnoszę takie dziwne wrażenie, że jestem tu strong. No patrz co im robię, ty. Dobra, jebać was. Yy, tak, wbijamy się tutaj. Czas poleczyć różne osoby. Jest tego za dużo, za dużo tutaj jest. E, tak, leczonko oczywiście, podaj lekarstwo. Dobijmy targu. E, o, w końcu. W końcu są porządne uchwyty. Dziękuję koleżanko sympatyczna. Bardzo dziękuję. Cóż bym ci mógł sprzedać, oprócz kopa? Na ten moment nic, na ten moment chyba nic. Chyba, żebym mógł posprzedawać ci rzeczy, które są do tego. Do, jak to się nazywa? Dobrze, tutaj pogadane. Nic więcej nie ma. Tak, dawaj leczonka kolejne, bo jest przerąbane, przerąbane jest. Badania lekarskie, podaj lekarstwo, dziękuję. Cześć Sabrina, nastoletnia czarownica. Leczonko, dziękuję. Tam jest jakiś archer. Dobrze, dobrze, odzyskują zdrowie. Najważniejsze, że odzyskują zdrowie. Ale trzeba będzie też tutaj wybrać się na żer mocno i, i właśnie... Tak, 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 ja wiem o tym, ja wiem, ja, ja cię kocham też, no. Ale te doki będą strasznie, strasznie ciężkie do obejścia całe. Dawaj na zachodnie teraz, lecimy. Tam jest dziomuś na 24 levelu. O kurwa! Dobrze, krewka, krewka. Kurwa, idź mnie stąd, duży. Co masz? Sprężyny i szylingi. Tam jest i czabon, i czabon. Jak ja mogę tam dostać się do ciebie? 
skalę. Dobra, na nich mogę żerować. Wole. Jaki opór stawiasz, chamie? Ja ci kurwa opór postawiam. Wielka bestia, no kurwa, bez tej ko. I cyk w gryzanko. Dobrze. I teraz spróbujmy. O! Jeb, jeb. Dobra, dobra. Nie mam pytań, nie mam pytań. Wściekłość jest tak OP. Żyje o dupia. O, nowy przedmiot do zbierania. Tam był ten. Ichiban. Okolicy nocnego azylu. Dobrze, dobrze. Jest. I czabot. No, ty już chlejesz, co? I can't protect the whole city. It's hard enough to cover the docks by myself. Kurwa, kto pytał? Good. Do you? Masz lekarstwo i nie pierdol. I zdrowie, chłopie, bo trzeba będzie cię uobecnić. Migający skal. Nie, to ja chcę w drugą stronę. Ja chcę w te bezpieczne strefy, bo tutaj są ludzie. O, tam jest nieznany, muszę z nim pogadać. Siema. Good evening. Rest assured, I will help. You're not taken. Taki zegarek znalazłem. That makes sense. If you say. Take this for your trouble. O, dzięki, dzięki, dzięki. Masz jakieś ten? Zmęczenie. Nie ma sprawy, ziomek. Proszę bardzo. Goodbye. Jeszcze kłościora wykonałem przy okazji. Proszę bardzo. Martin Nightgale. O, to do tamtej mam iść, bo ona jest bardzo, bardzo rozchorowana. Do niej szukałem właśnie jakiegoś wejścia. I już coś tam mam. Tutaj nic. Dobra, muszę, muszę zejść, bo tamto... Tamta to mówi, o, ale jestem chora, ale jestem chora. Tylko tam chyba trzeba będzie wejść poprzez e, zapukanie w drzwi. Puk, puk, puk. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I already took my medication. I'm sorry. Your me Don't tease me like that, Jack. I think... An epidemic, you say? Dobra, dawaj mnie do środka, ty piaro. Siema, siema. I told... Of course. Pozwolicie, że przeskipuję. Oh. Jakieś tajemnice może coś powie szybko. Jack takes. He does indeed. No, I see that you're pretty old, Nita. Oh, na nerwo bule. Elegancko. No, to będziesz się chilowała, co? A ty jesteś na jedynce, to ty jesteś taka skromna. Dobre i tyle. Dobre i tyle. It's locked. It's locked. Dobrze, dobrze, dobrze. Dobra, już stąd mogę ci dawać. Yy, tu są jeszcze na pewno osoby. Bo jeszcze w dokach kogo mamy do, do wyleczenia? Tutaj Stella Fishburn, ten Fishburn, obydwoje na anemię. Tutaj Paxtony. No. A z Paxtonami pewnie... Pewnie też będą jakieś w sobie zakochane, czy coś. Do you need... Nie pierdol, tylko żryj. I cyk, ekspik wleciał. Ty na migrenę, dobrze. Jakby tak służba zdrowia w Polsce działała... Dzień dobry, diagnoza. Chora, okej. Okay. Jesteś zdrowa. Kogo jeszcze mamy? Yy, tylko fiszburny zostały. A fiszburny gdzie są? Fiszburny będą gdzieś chyba tutaj w dokach. Także muszę stąd sprzedawać. Jak widzicie, praca lekarza nie jest prosta. Ile się człowiek na zapierdala? O, sam jeden wie. Tak patrzę, czy tymi północnymi dokami...
Tam jest ten jedny skal, migający skal. Dobra, może uda się tędy przejść. Bawicie się? O, bawicie się bardzo dobrze nawet. Niecny skal. Siema! I chrup! I cyk! Ciach, 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 ciach! I elo. <grych> What tego, kurwa? I co, skipniemy sobie raz, skipniemy sobie dwa, już jesteśmy w normalnych dokach. I teraz tylko muszę tych fishburnów znaleźć gdzieś. Gdzie oni są, kurde? Tędy przejdę coś gdzieś? Tu już byłem. Tu byłem, tu byłem jak do Mestos. O, masz wąsa do jebanego ziomu. Kurde, teraz tylko nie pamiętam gdzie, one, gdzie oni byli, nie? Bo oni mogą być też w północnych dokach. I możliwe, że tam są. Tam mam jakieś kryjówki w tych północnych dokach? O tak średnio, tu jest jakaś jedna. Dobra, możemy tam iść. Pójdziemy, zobaczymy. Teraz tylko którędy. Tu w lewo jakoś, na północ muszę się kierować. Kurwa! Poszli! Nara. No a ci dam kurwa piece of shit. Mówisz do mnie piece of shit, a kto pada na hita? No nie ja. I ty kwietniczek. O, a może tutaj są? Posłyszałem jakieś kaszlenie. Znowu mi się włączyły te znaczniki. No kompletnie ich nie ogarniam, nie? one się po prostu same klikają. Dobra, ale tędy przejdę. Ta, przejdę sobie tędy, normalnie. Siema, nara. Paszu, won! Jeps, dobrze. Nara z kaziomy. Ciema. Sprawdzimy was. Dobra, dużo nie było do sprawdzania. No co mogę zrobić? No po prostu za silny jestem dla nich, no. Trzeba było, kurwa, pompować. Nie wiem, koła od roweru chociaż. Niecny skal. W złym kierunku idę. O! They want war. I'll show them war. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. No ostra. Ja tak widzę, że się szykuje. Bawcie się, bawcie, ale urwo ty. Od razu na mnie się rzucił jebaniutki. No dobra, wkurwiliście mnie! Nieważne kto jest kurwa kto, pierdalam was wszystkich. Ło, to jest włócznia! Ej, dobra włócznia jest. Ale jestem lepszy. Fragment porządnego spustu. Dobra, czyli już się zaczynają te mm, lepsze rzeczy pojawiać. Bardzo dobrze, bardzo dobrze. W końcu będę mógł pałę ulepszyć na mocniejszą. Po tym buzdyganem to ja tutaj mogę o, 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 namieszać, namieszać. Chociaż z drugiej strony zastanawiam się, czy by, czy by nie zmienić y, pod y, Dimage'a. Poń domek, pokaż go. Pokaż, kochanieńka, gdzie mieszkasz? Ulotki. Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes, death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. 
Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. Hmm. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please. Call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing all those people everywhere I went. Vengeance is a powerful force for those betrayed. Made vampire through careless error. Victims by surprise. I swear I did not intend that. If only I had known then how vampires are created. That is the scientist speaking. In truth, most of us do not know how it really works. Personally, I make sure my prey will not return to haunt me. What do you mean? I am merciless, Jonathan. I only feed on the dying, and I make sure they are dead before leaving their remains. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. I am so sorry for my accidental cruelty. Had I known your dear Mary was still alive, I would never have sent you to pray for her soul in that church. There is no need to apologize, my lady. Your words have been most helpful in these difficult times. Thank you, my friend. If only we could have guided your poor sister through her terrible nightmare. Mm-hmm. I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. Certainly extremely old. How have you reached this conclusion? He is the only immortal I've seen appear in an ethereal form. His voice, his words seemed ancient. It was disturbing. I am afraid you are right. The simple fact that your blood made Mary such a strong Ekon proves that you must be of ancient lineage. I felt this power radiating like an aura every time he appeared. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. Some may still be in hiding. All I know is you, my friend are a pawn in some secret and obscure game of chess. Mm -hmm. I think I should ask the questions, your ladyship. After all, it was you who invited me to settle this most urgent of matters. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted to discuss mundane matters and idle trivialities. If we survive the dark nights to come, we shall have all the time in the world to speak, you and I. For now, please follow me, Jonathan. No, no, but I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down. But I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. <laughs> I should love you. Call me Elizabeth. Oh, 
So, my lady. <laughs> so, my lady. <laughs> you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Ooh, Nasalone. Who are they? Really? They are the embodiment of vampire law in Britain. Some say they influence the destiny of the Empire. Some believe they merely protect it. How many are they? Only a small number of powerful and deceitful immortals. All of them entangled in a sticky web of shadow cabinets, influencing trade. Will they fight the guard of Prewen? I doubt it. Fergal was Lord Redgrave's executioner forever and a day. By defeating that beast, you deprived them of a powerful weapon. Aww. Why use you to contact me? Because they know we are close. The Ascalon Club has many spies. Their main occupation is gathering information and then deciding how to use it. Have they threatened you in any way? Not at all. Their message surprised me at first, but it is only logical considering the critical situation in London. Why not ask for your help, since you are obviously a powerful and influential immortal yourself? You have to understand that I am invisible to the eyes of Ascalon. For I am a woman. That suits me well, as long as they leave me alone. Okay. Should I trust them? Of course not. Do not misunderstand me. They can be very useful, but I believe their long-term goals differ from yours. Why meet them then? Because nothing truly important can be achieved in this city without their consent. They could be powerful allies in miasta. Should I lie to them? We all lie, Jonathan. It falls to you to choose your behavior. The most important rule is to show them due respect. They have done nothing but impede my investigation since I became known to them. Why would they want to see me now? I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. They must have found out what happened to your sister. Proof of the potent blood flowing through your veins. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. I have seen their handiwork. How Fergal the Beast imposed the club's law. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? Who is he? Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of the Ascalon Club. Most mortals know him as the Earl of Bristol. He is rich and extremely influential. Have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership, even immortals. How old is he? How long has he been a vampire? Lord Redgrave claims to be the progeny of William Marshall, the most valiant knight who ever lived. If that is true, he could be very old. Mm -hmm. How powerful is his reach? The Ascalon Club may be the most influential secret society in England. Not all its members are immortals, but they are all very powerful. They are not all immortals. How is that? The club is mainly comprised of political figures who seek the safety and expansion of the Empire. The most loyal are awarded immortality. Any familiar or famous names? As the richest, most relentless British tycoon, Aloysius Dawson is considered ideal Ascalon material and has been watched for years. If you are convinced I must meet him, I will heed your advice. Thank you, Jonathan. I understand your reluctance to brush shoulders with London's vampire elite. But we have no choice. Is the situation that critical? Yes. The Guard of Prewen has called for a second great hunt of our kind. And they will stop at nothing to eliminate us. Will the Guard of Prewen and the Ascalon Club fight each other. I doubt it. If Prewen really launched a great hunt, I think most of the Ekons I know would flee the country to escape the bloodbath. I think I saw them kill an Ekon on the way to your house. 
They seem to have a list with names. To launch another great hunt. They must have collected intelligence on vampire identities and whereabouts. They are a resourceful lot. Should we fight back? I will not be hunted down like an animal again. I admire your courage, Jonathan. But the best way to fight them is to put an end to the epidemic. This is the only way to clear the air. Okay. What is a great hunt? The first great hunt was launched about 75 years ago. In just a few nights, the guard of Prewen located and destroyed most of the old British vampires. Kurwa, ile tu jest gadania, nie? Why start a second one? Prewen has always seen us immortals as a threat to mankind. My guess is they suspect one or more of us is the cause of the epidemic. How did you survive the first hunt? I fled, Jonathan. Like most vampires who survived that slaughter. And I secretly came back when I was sure they had lost my trail. You should flee then. Leave London, the country even. I have seen the guard in action. They are merciless. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. Mm -hmm. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. Kurwa, i znowu. Patrz, i po tym będą znowu dwie OT. What will you do? I still have contacts and old friends in this town. I shall make some inquiries and attempt to learn more of the situation. We need clarity. Will I ever discover the identity of my maker? Maybe not, Jonathan. We know for sure you were made by a powerful vampire. But most of those fled England long ago. Please forgive my bluntness. But I have to ask, was it you? Did you make me? Oh, Jonathan, I know you shall always have a gnawing doubt about who made you an immortal. But I swear, I had nothing to do with it. You have no idea at all? You seem to know so many things about the secrets of the vampire underworld. Even if I had my suspicions, I would not dare give you a name so soon. All I can say is this. I will make inquiries and keep you informed. One day soon, I will have to find the answer to this mystery. And I shall help you in your research, I promise. For now, you must go to the Ascalon Club and play their game. Will I see you again at the Pembroke Hospital? No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our discoveries. Will you not visit Pembroke again? No. I must remain discreet and avoid attracting attention to Pembroke Hospital for the time being. But how will you sustain yourself? I shall not, Jonathan. Fear not. I'm used to it. When will we meet again? As soon as you meet Lord Redgrave, I suppose. Fear not, my dear. I shall only be a heart's beat away. I want to thank you for all your support and your help. Could you do me a last great favor and call me Elizabeth? I should be honored, my lady. Then it is settled. Finally, some good news in these dark hours. Thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, 
but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. Zatyta złapał. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. Sprawdzenie wszystkich kwestii dialogowych bez pomijania zajęło kurwa nie wiem ze 12 minut. To jest. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Jak masz się z kimś spotkać, to powinieneś kurwa jak najszybciej to powinno być, a nie gadanie, 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 gadanie. Ależ to. Przepraszam, ale to. O, jeszcze Lady Ashbury i dostępny nowy dialog. Tak kurwa to jest nudne. Idzie przyspać naprawdę przy tym, no nie powinna być taka ta gra. Jeszcze z nią pogadajmy, żeby jeszcze bardziej się ponudzić. Zapierdolmy i wszystko z szuflad. Gdzie ona jest? Ty, Pindo! Where are ya? Gdzieś na górze siedzi pewnie. A co masz w szafeczce? Czekaj. Hello again, Jonathan. Sorry to disturb you. Of course, my dear. Dobra, nie, nie mam kurwa siły. Nie mam siły na nią po prostu. Jak już, już słucham mnie, to już mnie pierdolę złapie. Dobra, idę stąd kurwa. Idę, idę. Nie, bo jak słucham, to już mi się gotuje we mnie, nie? Idziemy się spotkać z tym maskalonem. Za długie są te dialogi, zdecydowanie za długie. Nie otwierają się z tej strony, no kto by pomyślał? Czyli muszę zapierdalać naokoło, no pewnie, że tak, dobrze. Mam czas, pewnie, że tak. Dobra, spierdalać. Bewarę. Jakaś wielka bestia. No, na to by wyglądało. Że tutaj nie biorą jeńców. Wszystkich rozpierdalają. Dobrze. Tak samo jak i ja. Też jestem mister rozpierdalacz wampirowy Brian. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. A tam mamy jeszcze właśnie kryjóweczkę, ale do kryjówki nie idę. Nie chcę na razie klimać, bo będę musiał poleczyć trochę. Dawaj krewkę hamie. I mod. Jeb, 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 jeb. I cyk, znowu krewka. Uh! 
kurva, ty! <śmiech> Będzie mnie tu bił. Gdzie, w tę stronę? W tę stronę, dobrze. No to let's go. Kryjóweczka jest dostępna. Ja, ja właśnie kryjówkę. Dobrze, dobrze. Przepraszam, ale muszę po prostu poprzeskakiwać twoje te. Tutaj nic nie ma. Dobra, popierdol, popierdol, ta, urodziłem się. Kurwa, wyobraźcie sobie, ile teraz bym musiał czekać, żeby sobie... O, Charlotka, już mamy pierwszą wskazóweczkę, dobrze jesteś sufrażystką. No ja pierdolę, jakie... Zobacz. No, dobra. A, jeszcze mamy osobiste pytanka, tak. Nara. Kurwa, jak ona tyle gada, co tamta, to... Dzień dobry, Boże. Nie, za dużo pierdolenia, za dużo, zdecydowanie za dużo. Klub Asklon. Ulotki! Ciema. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Ula la 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 la. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. No, chyba tak. Albo dostaną dotację, kto wie. A. Tędy dobrze. O kurwa. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Here, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Yes, she is. I may even say I admire her probity and her kindness. She has helped me since I was reborn. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this Skull Plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. 
Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the guard of Prewen, have even launched an open hunt. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah, straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown, that you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire. But the true nature of its members remains a secret. Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England, when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. I killed Fergal who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. It's a extatician expo. Initiation. Fear not, nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes. I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. Bier, podpisuj. Mm, Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. 
Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us. One of us. Siadaj, dziadek, kurwa, bo jeszcze przepuklinny dostaniesz. Porozmawiajmy jeszcze z tym lordzikiem. It is always useful to bolster the troops morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Bearer. I'm listening, my lord. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic. And your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You are spying on me. Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Bansha was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No. He was a Volkod, all muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed, ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. You do know I killed him? Yes. Will you bear ill will towards me for his death? Of course not. Your victory was quite impressive and courageous. You earned my respect. Dużo dialogów jest bezsensownych, bo już było powiedziane o tym, że został zabity i wiesz, że go zabiłem. Nie, kurwa, rozmawialiśmy o tym jakieś 10 minut temu. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied skulls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed, but for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the Skulls. Skulls are malevolent and disgusting creatures. I knew I was right to induct you, Dr. Reed. You would not dare lie to me on such a vital topic now, would you? So. What do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find and get results. Czwarty poziom hipnotyzmu. Szybko dosyć. Wbiłem czwarty poziom. On tutaj jest na szóstkę. Lord Redgriff jest na ten. A ze starym jeszcze nie pogadałem. Czekajcie, ze starym jeszcze pogadam. Stary. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it... It's quite unsettling. Do not be alarmed. May I ask? Why would you... Well, as... Ah. Dobra, poprzeskakuję, bo... It's... Pe... It's... It's... Ma... I... What... I... Oh, I... My... I... 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 Przepraszam, ale kurwa, nie mam zamiaru spędzać. No. Nie chcę, nie chcę kurwa spędzać naprawdę dialogi w tej grze. U, porządny sztylet. Absorpcja krwi. 
niezła sprawa, ale ja wolę moje te sposoby, które mam na pozyskiwanie właśnie krewki. Za dużo, za dużo jest tu gadania. Ja wiem, że to jest kluczowe tutaj do rozwiązywania zagadek i tak dalej, ale, ale te dialogi są tak, kurwa, nie wiem, moim zdaniem one są na siłę zrobione i to bardzo mocno na siłę zrobione. Takie, żeby tylko przedłużyć grę, żeby no, zapoznać się, zapoznać się ze wszystkim, a tak naprawdę chuja się dowiesz. Trzy razy mówisz, kurwa, o tym samym. I to jest mega denerwujące w tej grze, ale dobra, słuchajcie. Jakie plany? Jakie plany? Plany są następujące. Przede wszystkim pójdę wyleczyć wszystkich i... i... Zrobiłbym tak, że żeby było jak najwięcej gierek jednak na moim kanale, porobię sobie te... I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. E, pogadam sobie, może tak. E, co do samego poznawania tutaj... O, ten widzę, że jest filarem, okej. Okay. Co do samego poznawania... O, ja już nie żyję. Szybko poszło. <laughs> Co do samego poznawania tych postaci, to ja sobie po prostu to poogarniam. Poza, bo, bo nie ma sensu. E, pozwolicie też, że powpierdalam tutaj już na czwartym poziomie, to jest... No, no prawie wszyscy są do ojebania. To sobie... No tej kamelia, dobra, to tych... Tutaj jeszcze tego kamelię zostawię sobie. Ale pozwolę sobie powpierdalać ich wszystkich, bo... Czuję, że no nie mam za bardzo yy... i tak co z nimi do roboty, tylko oczywiście wcześniej powypełniam te misje, które są, nie? Bo to jeszcze, jeszcze trochę tych zadań jest do zrobienia. I tutaj te, które miały być zrobione są zrobione, tutaj jest jeszcze jeden do zrobienia. No właśnie tego Braila będę musiał ogarnąć, ale tak. Yy, porobię wszystkie zadanka, które są, a jest ich trochę do zrobienia. I co? I... Chociaż może zrobię, zrobię taki, że ze dwa odcinki na właśnie kręcenie tych zadań pobocznych, żeby je porobić i trochę, żeby pozdobywać expa i, i pieniążków i poulepszać sobie te rzeczy. Może tak zrobimy. O! Tak byśmy zrobili. Ulotka z ostrzeżeniem. Dzięki za ostrzeżenie. No, jeszcze tutaj dostałem kolejną wskazóweczkę. No, to dobra. To w następnym odcinku zajmę się nie fabułą, ale zadaniami pobocznymi, tylko zanim to zrobię, to... Eee, powyleczam sobie ich wszystkich Powbijam sobie oczywiście jakieś doświadczenie Poulepszam postać, żeby ona była jeszcze silniejsza, jeszcze mocniejsza Jeszcze większy wpierdol z, z, tutaj zadawała moim oponentom I chyba tyle Także serdeczna rigata za obejrzenie tego materiału Mam nadzieję, że się podobało Wszystkie instrukcje oczywiście macie w opisie I to było na tyle, widzimy się za niedługo w kolejnym odcinku z tej serii Kaca was, następnego trzymajcie się indiu